find about to get out of here. Today he talk to George about the, the bromance between the two of you and he wanted you to see this and he wanted to set the record straight. So, good luck. <laughs> now someone was telling me you kind of had a kind of a guy crush on Jude Law. What's in this set? Quite the reverse. <laughs> oh, in, in the movie, in the movie my character doesn't want him to get married because that'll take him away from me. In real life, Jude was calling me last night uh, while he's on his way out to dinner telling me he missed me. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to have to ask Jude about that when he comes you in tomorrow. You ask whatever you want. <laughs> Hopefully he'll tell the truth. <laughs> tell the truth. Tell he's the truth. right. I called him and said yeah. I miss you last oh. night. I won't tell you that I love you. Kiss or hug you. Stop. Because I'm bluffing with my muffin. I'm not lying. I'm just stunning. With my love glue gunning just like a chick in the casino. Take your bank before I pay you out. I promise this. I promise this. Check this hand because I'm marvelous. Can't read my. Can't read my. No. He can't read my face. Help you what? That, that's, uh, that's Nate Archibald. No, that's Dan Humphrey. N what? Nate Archibald. Dan Humphrey. One thing I've learned from you is that I should not worry about the consequences. It's worked out great for me. I like the scene. There was a nice sunset, but I think we might have helped God along a little bit on that sky. <laughs> Face. It's not in your face, it's in my hand. Okay, what's in your hand out of my face? Ugh, they've been flirting like this for hours. They're smoking. They're browning way too fast. Blue is the color you gotta watch out for. Enough! I'll be listening for you. Obvious my Sunday came today.